I'm Lisa Garrell from Applied Genealogy Institute, and I have four tips to try if you're trying to break through a tough problem. First tip is to review your previous research. I do this by re reviewing my notes. I reread them. Those notes you wrote down many, many years ago, and perhaps they, the things that you wrote down didn't make sense, but now it will because you know a lot more about your research family. I also review all of my collected documents again, making sure that I've extracted all of the information I can from it. Second, reorganize your research. I try to create a timeline or I put the information into tables or spreadsheets. Timelines help me see the gaps in my research. And putting the information into tables helps me see possible patterns that I might not see in isolated documents. I also like to use maps to help me see the big picture of where my ancestors lived. Write about your problem. One of the best tools for solving difficult problems is to write about it. Begin by writing what you know, or begin writing their story. Soon you will see gaps in your knowledge about them, or maybe gaps in resources that you haven't used yet. You might even see a flaw in your thinking. And the last tip is perhaps you've been too focused on a single person. Broaden your research to other family members and their neighbors and friends. Your ancestors did not live in isolation. They interacted with others, and the records of those other people just might mention your ancestor. Keep track of the people mentioned in obituaries. Those people who witness wills and deeds and the neighbors on census records. Another way to broaden your research is to include neighboring counties and neighboring states if the county is on a border. This is where those maps come in handy. And then lastly, you can broaden your research into new record groups that you have not used before. A great way to learn about those record groups is by reading reference materials, taking classes, or checking the Family Search Research Wiki or Cindy's list. So again, these four tips are review your previous research, reorganize your research, write about your problem, and broaden your research, those people, the places, and the records. So thank you. I'm Lisa Gorell from Applied Genealogy uh, Institute, and we sure hope that you'll join us in one of our upcoming classes. Thank you.